Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Cook and vlog with Jerry. So guys, guess what? We're gonna cook pork adobo. So this pork I have, so seems like there's some ribs in there, some bones, so that's good to eat for me. So I like bones. I like meat with bones. So this is for ingredients that we have. So we have carrot and potato here. So I soak with water so that way the potato is not change color. And they have pork, pork steak. This is pork steak, so I have cut it. Then this is beer leaves, garlic, onion, and brown sugar. And also, I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper. We need salt. Um, we have soy sauce and vinegar with chili here. So we call it sinamang in the Philippines. So that's what we have. And here I have a pan, get ready to cook. and. Turn the heat until it's start. All right, and let's get started. So here we go. We're gonna put or add our. Hi guys, as you can see, I put my pork first and then I'm gonna turn this one until it's golden brown and then I'm gonna add all my ingredients after that. So this is my way or my method to cook my pork adobo. So every people have a different way to cook the how the way, you know. So this is my idea and this is the way. I cook pork other there and this is makes yummy for my pork. So this method guys it will be come out the pot. That guys, you can see this turned to brown. So it's that some of my pork is turned to brown and then I add in my garlic and onion. So that is good, I have mixed well, and then I'm going to add my dill leaves, and also I'm going to add some boiled water. So it's boiling.
So always use a boiled water, guys, if you cook it. So that way it's easy to cook, you know. And I'm gonna add my brown sugar. I'm gonna add my chili. My soy sauce. I'm gonna add some of salt, but I don't want to put too much because it's gonna be salty. And next thing, we'll so, anyway, guys, I forgot to mention that we need also a paper, ground paper. And you're gonna mix it and we're gonna cook it a low power about less an hour or so so that way the pork will be soft so we don't need to use always high power because the pork will be hard so we're gonna cook slowly slowly until it's soft in. all right so we're gonna cook this one before it's soft and we're gonna add our carrots and potato later so we're gonna cover this one and get it sit for an hour all right hey guys we come back this is our pork adobo so and guys hindi pa siya dong malambot so we're gonna add our carrots and potato Cook this one until it's soft. In your pork adobo, guys, or pork chicken, uh, pork chicken, Ch chicken, chicken adobo, you can put boiled eggs. Or quail egg is okay too. That's yummy. Should I see it? We're gonna wait until it's gonna be very soft. But for now, we need it to cover and we're gonna come back after that, okay? So, hi guys, this is what we have now. Everything is soft. Now we're gonna add some vinegar, but not much. Just one, one teaspoon. just mix it and cook it for a few minutes and you're done hi guys welcome back so this is my pork adobo looks like now so i have cooked this until it's tender so look at the, how tender is that see that's so that's so that's so soft. So, yun guys, pag nakakita nyo, once na magluto ka ng adobo, 
Palambutin nyo siya until lumambot. Then, it's gonna be yummy! Look! So, everything is soft and it's ready to eat. That's my edible and it's yummy. So, yummy, right, Mahal? Yes. <laughs> so, my husband said it's yummy. So, that's it. So, hope you like it, guys. Um, thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, po. Bye bye. So, once again, our our <laughs> pork adobo is very soft and very tender and tastes very delicious, right? Well, bye bye.